Привет, my dear minds. I hope you are doing very well. In this lesson, I will tell you about the fifth case of the Russian language, the instrumental case. I'll try to make this lesson easy for you. So uh, stay with me. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Let's start. When is the instrumental case used? Its primary meaning is with the help of something. Look at these two sentences. Number one. Я пишу ручкой. I write or I'm writing with a pen. Number two. Она рисует карандашом. She draws or she's drawing with a pencil. The actions are made with the help of a pen and a pencil, which are used in the instrumental case in these two sentences. Pause the video and remember the nominative forms of these words ручкой and карандашом. Correct. Number one. Ручка – a pen. Number two. Карандаш – a pencil. Ом and ой are the endings of the instrumental case. So, if you want to say that something is made or done with something, with the help of something, by means of something, then you use an object or instrument in the instrumental case. This case has two questions. Кем and чем. Кем is the instrumental form of кто, who. Кем can be translated as whom. Чем is the instrumental form of что, what. It can be translated as what. Number one. Я пишу ручкой. I write or I'm writing with a pen. Чем я пишу? What do I write with? Answer. Ручкой. With a pen. Number two. Она говорит сестрой. She talks or she's talking to the sister. С кем она говорит? Whom does she talk or whom is she talking to? Answer. Сестрой. To the sister. The second meaning of this case is to do something together with somebody or something. The key words here are together with or accompanied by. Such nouns go after the preposition с in the Russian language. Number one. Он гуляет с другом. He walks or he's walking with a friend. The word другом goes after the preposition с in the instrumental case and has the instrumental ending ом. Number two. Она говорит сестрой. She talks or she's talking to the sister. The word сестрой also goes after the preposition с and has the instrumental ending ой. The third meaning of this case is the adverbial modifier of time. Let me give you some examples of the adverbial modifier of time. Last night, in the afternoon, in summer. Number one. Я плаваю летом. I swim in summer. Number two. Мой брат смотрит телевизор вечером. My brother watches TV in the evening. Кем and чем cannot be used with this meaning of the case. There are some more meanings of the instrumental case, but let's concentrate on this right now. Endings of singular nouns in the instrumental case. If masculine or feminine singular nouns ending are, the instrumental ending is oi. Number one, ruchka. It's a feminine noun. In the instrumental case, it's ruchkai. Let's have a look at the example. It's in the second column. Number one, ya pishu ruchkai. I write or I'm writing the pen. Number two, Papa, a father. It's a masculine noun. In the instrumental case, it's papai. Let's have a look at the example. Number two. 
Я говорю с папой. I talk or I'm talking to the father. Number three. Сестра. A sister. It's a feminine noun. Сестрой. Number three. Он гуляет с сестрой. He walks or he is walking with the sister. Masculine or feminine singular nouns ending я have ye in the instrumental case. If я is stressed, replace it with йой. Number one, дядя, an uncle. It's a masculine noun. In the instrumental case, it's дядей. Number one, я катаюсь на велосипеде с дядей. I ride on riding a bike with the uncle. Number two, семья, a family. It's a feminine noun. Number two, она смотрит телевизор с семьей. She watches or she's watching TV with the family. If masculine singular nouns ending in a consonant and neuter singular nouns ending or, the instrumental ending is om. Number one. Карандаш. A pencil. It's a masculine noun. In the instrumental case, it's карандашом. Number one. Он пишет карандашом. He writes or he is writing with a pencil. Number two. Лето. Summer. It's a new to noun. Number two. Мы слушаем музыку летом. We listen to music in summer. If masculine singular nouns end with a soft sign or y, the instrumental ending is yem and yom if it's stressed. Only a dictionary helps you to understand whether it's stressed or no. Number one, sari, zar. It's a masculine noun. In the instrumental case, it's царем. Number one. Он говорит с царем. He talks or he's talking to the czar. Number two. Учитель. A teacher. It's a masculine noun. Number two. Они идут с учителем. They go, they are going with a teacher or the teacher. Number three. Клей. Glue. It's a masculine noun. Number three, claim with glue. If new to nouns ending ye or yo, just add the letter m. Feminine nouns with the soft sign add u. Number one, noch, night. It's a feminine noun. Он рисует ночью. He draws or he paints at night. Number two. Dodge, a daughter. It's a feminine noun. Number two. Mama путешествует с дочерью. The mother travels or is traveling with the daughter. Exercise one. Pause the video, open the brackets and put the noun into the correct form. Om, yem or oi, ye. Check yourself. Number one. Она бегает с братом утром. Number two. Мама читает книгу с тетей. Number three. Дети ходят на пикник с учителем. Number four. Ее муж всегда платит картой. Number five. Я собираю грибы осенью. Exercise number two. 
Pause the video and make questions with kim or chim and answer them. Check yourself. Number one. Чем их родители рисуют картину? Answer. Карандашом with a pencil. Number two. С кем говорит адвокат сейчас? Answer. Судьей to the judge. Check yourself. Number three. С кем катаются? Дети на велосипеде. Answer. С дедушкой. With the grandfather. Number four. Чем всегда платит ее друг? Answer. Картой. With a card. Number five. С чем мой сын любит чай? Answer. Сахаром with sugar. Endings of plural nouns in the instrumental case. If plural nouns end ы or а, replace ы or а with ами. For example, number one. Сестры, sisters. In the instrumental case, it is сестрами. Number one. Я играю с ее сестрами. I play or am playing with her sisters. Number two. Повара. Cooks. In the instrumental case, it's поварами. Number two. Она готовит с поварами. She cooks or she's cooking with cooks. If plural nouns end e or ya, replace e or ya with yami. For example, number one, братья, brothers. Number one, on ест с братьями. He eats or he's eating with the brothers. Number two, недели, weeks. Number two. Он не гуляет неделями. He doesn't walk for weeks. Remember that after these letters, G, K, H, Ч, Ж, Ш, Щ, С, А is written, not Я. For example, number one, яблоки, apples. In the instrumental case, it is яблоками. Number one. Она готовит пирог с яблоками. She cooks, so she's cooking an apple pie. Number two. Карандаши. Pencils. Number two. Он рисует карандашами. He draws or he's drawing with pencils. There are some exceptions to the rule that you have to remember. Number one, дети, children. In the instrumental case, детьми. Number two, дочери, daughters. In the instrumental case, дочерьми. Number three, лошади, horses. In the instrumental case, лошадьми. Number four, Люди, people. In the instrumental case, людьми. Exercise 3. Pause the video and answer these five questions using English answers. Check yourself. Number 1. С чем вы пьете чай? Answer, сахаром и лимоном. Number two, с кем вы любите гулять? Answer, с друзьями. Number three, чем вы любите рисовать? Answer, ручками. 
number four. С кем вы любите смотреть телевизор? Answer. С детьми. Number five. С кем вы любите говорить по телефону? Answer. С сестрой. Or с братом. Or с мамой. Or матерью. Or с папой. Or с отцом. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you won't miss my new videos. Пока!